you can create a live text item with a dynamic list referencing a global asset, like a spreadsheet or a PLM PDM system. One use case in Colorway might be if you have a header and a field. The header stays the same across multiple projects in your template. But you might have another text item which is the field and you want that to reference a spreadsheet. So you go over here to the validation settings. Press the plus button. Choose the spreadsheet. And you now have the option to choose whether you want to pull the information from the column or the row. I've got my information set up in columns. Here's what my spreadsheet looks like. In the first row, I've put a hash symbol so that Colorway knows that that row is going to be my header. If I put the hash symbol further down, it'll start at that row. So in this row, I've got product code, product name, season, and so forth. And the hashtag there tells me that. Back in Colorway, I'm going to choose column. And then in the columns section, I can see that it's got all of those column headers. For this text item, I want to use the information product code. And now on my colorway sheet, I've got a little blue arrow. And when I press it, it drops down with all of the information in that column. And I can select it. So if I'm a designer, or any other user of colorway, and I go into a template, I don't have to go to the spreadsheet. And I don't have to manually enter anything. I can just use the drop down to, to select the correct information. So now let's say we want to do the same thing for product name. I can just go over to column, change it to product name, and then it shows me all of those product names in there. I don't have to reference the same spreadsheet. Each item can reference a different spreadsheet, but in this case I've just copy and pasted. So if every time it will relink to that same spreadsheet. 